of Nevada, Esperanza, La, excuse me, La Costa Canyon, Martin Luther King, Rio Carrillo, Mira Loma, Mission Viejo, Montgomery, Nevada Union, Newark Memorial, North Torrance, Oak Park, Orange Lutheran, Pacifica of Garden Grove, Point Loma, Ponderosa, Prospect, Reno of Nevada, Roosevelt of Southern Section, South Pasadena, it's run 1820 here. She was 10th in the Southern Section and 14th in the state last year, and she's run 1645 at Woodbridge this year. So Arrington continue to lead at about 1,200 meters, making the cross. Next time you'll see them if you're up here is they'll come through the tunnel of trees. They come screaming down toward the mile mark. But your leader continues to be Arrington of South Pasadena. Okay, it looks like a winner, Morant. Uh, University City in second, and Oliver, Olivia Reed, Yorba Linda in third. She was 19th here last year in the same race. So first three, Arrington, Ritz, and Reed as we approach the mile mark. from Prospect, Central Coast section, Haley Horner of Prospect, Grayson of Nevada Union up there, Barnes of South Pasadena gives the Taggers two in the top five, and Ventura County champ in the 1600, Cassidy Kajeta of Thousand Oaks is in sixth, Reed in seventh, Yamas of Guha Colony in eighth. Tracy Ray go, of Cassidy. University City Let's go, gives them two Let's in the go, top five. Go, excuse me, top ten. And Jacqueline Soto of North Torrance in ten. Let's go, Tio! Come on, Megan! Let's go, Madeline! Team score at a mile south pass. 72, on, Linda, 35. Hey, win this pack, win this pack. Make it up here, up here, up here. Look to do, look to do, look to do. 
Meter State is safe. And moving up in those leaders now is Ashlyn Mellon of uh, Maria Carrillo, the freshman. In third, Kittlestrom of Montgomery of Santa Rosa. And the freshman, Ashlyn Milan. In fourth, in Cassidy Gajetta of Thousand Oaks. In fifth, as they head for Killer Hill. Heading up Killer Hill, it's Aaron Ten and Moret with Kilstrom in third, Milan in fourth, Kajeta in fifth. Wow, that night for Darrow. Good job. Nice job, Abby. Nice job. Aaron Tan, with just a mile to go, is 12 6. She's our leader, the lead from the gun from South Pasadena. Now, Kettlestrom of Montgomery in his second, and Moritz, hanging tough, University City in third. Great job, Ty. Jetta, thousand. Let's go, Ashley, one mile. Ashley, you gotta go, one mile. Let's go, Ashley. One mile. Let's go, Ashley. Lacefield of Montgomery. He is Montgomery. Two of the top five farms of South Carolina. Is it six? One of the top five in six. The freshman from the rear, Rio. Milan in eight. Crafton. Without a union in ninth, Great and job, Ray giving University City two in the top ten. This means you have about three minutes left. Coming back, just over 1,200 meters to go. Aaron Ten continues to stretch the lead. <laughs> Kettle's turn continues to stay tough in second. She's from Montgomery. Their number one runner, Anna Thompson, will be running in the championship race later today. Errington. She's at 1710 right now. Stepping onto the grass. 
at 17.20. She's under that 17.45 pace, which will be a huge PR. 17.30 right now, help her along. Let's give her the Clovis Invitational welcome. Coming home, the first race winner of the day will be in the low 17.40. 11.45 looks like 10 minutes right now. That's Lacefield being number two for Montgomery. Looks like Kajeta of Thousand Oaks. And the second South Pasadena runner Official winning time. That's Barnes in six. Official winning time, 17.44. We're still at 18.34. Let's, let's help them home. 18.45. Got a chance to sub 19 here. 18.50. 18.50. Right at 19 minutes right now. Crazy pass here at the... I'm Abigail Arrington. I'm a junior at South Pasadena High School. My mentality was to get a good sense of what the course was like, see, because, you know, state is here, so sort of just do a trial run, see what the course is like, see what strategies work, see if going out fast works for me, see if maybe saving a little. It was just not, it was kind of experimental, just testing out the course and um, getting more prepared for state. It was definitely in the back of my mind. Uh, I was nervous. There was a lot of nerves in the race, so I was kind of eager to start. Got out pretty relaxed, and then I just slowly started, uh, at the start of the race, I just went out relaxed and see how much you could pick it up as the race kept going. The first mile felt good, pretty relaxed and just sort of like positive self-talk at first. So I was feeling good, I was feeling confident. Second mile, uh, then I, this is where I sort of told myself like pick it up. Abby, like my coach made us watch a video on how to race well here and everyone says pick it up after the mile and so that's when I started telling myself like this is the time to go, don't wait any longer. The finish was definitely um, tiring because I took that second mile out pretty fast, faster than I normally do, but uh, I, I just had a, a good mentality so I was able to push, but I definitely was feeling it a little more than usual. Winning Clovis, uh, it's awesome. It's definitely a big confidence boost. It means we're doing what we have to do. We're training right and we're racing right. Um, it's definitely, we're gonna have a good mentality at state. We feel a lot more prepared. We feel a lot more confident going into state for the state course. So this win is awesome, but at the end of the day, it's, it's the beginning of the season. So we're definitely gonna just stay relaxed and keep doing what we're doing. Definitely the last mile, the hardest part of the race was probably that last mile before I got to the Christmas trees because it wasn't necessarily that close to the finish, but I, I was all by myself and I was hurting. So it was hard to like, stay kicking and keeping my legs moving so it's hard to push but once I got to those Christmas trees I knew the finish line was close my advice for running this course would be go out fast and relax and then just focus on gradually picking up if you're not used to picking it up in the second mile sort of force yourself to do it anyway because it pays off definitely was a new strategy for me but I think it works well just second mile even if you're worried about going too early just push just push next year for this race I think we handled it well maybe next year we're gonna next year we might be entered into the sweepstakes race so we have a more competitive feel but um, in terms of strategy I don't think we're going to change much. With South Pass hanging on to a lead over Maria Carrillo. Your Belinda currently in third. University City in fourth. San Luis Obispo fifth. Thousand Oak sixth. You can follow all these results live on finishresults.com. Awesome weather for this first race of the day. We're moving on to small schools. And next, top five, unofficially at this time. <laughs> South Path, Maria Carrillo in second, your belief fifth. Once again, follow everything live on finishresults.com. If you haven't checked out this ASIC Clovis Invitational cross country t shirt, be cool at school on Monday on, with your Clovis Invitational t shirt. We're doing
deficit, 22-50 right now. Make sure everybody's completely still before I start the race. 